Welcome back to Presentation Perfect. In this video, I'll show you three super simple, yet super creative slide design ideas that you can use instead of boring old bullet points in PowerPoint. The last two use the Morph Transition, available on the latest version of PowerPoint, or any version beyond 2019. Now let's begin. We'll start by inserting our video and resizing it to cover the entire slide. This particular video is from Pixabay, but feel free to use any source you prefer. Once the video is placed, select it, go to the Playback tab, and configure the following settings. Loop until stopped, check Rewind after playing, and set it to start automatically. This ensures the video begins playing as soon as you reach the slide. Next, insert a shape. I'm using a rounded rectangle, but a regular rectangle works just as well. Right-click the shape, choose Format Shape, Select a dark color and adjust the transparency to suit your background or video. Then remove the shape's outline for a cleaner look. Now duplicate your shape by pressing Ctrl D as many times as needed, based on the number of points you want. Next, select all of the duplicated shapes, go to Arrange, then choose a line and select Distribute Horizontally to space them apart evenly. You can also use the Arrange settings, as I'm doing here, to tweak the positioning further and make sure everything looks perfect. Next, ungroup the shapes to add individual content to each one. For the text, I'm using the font Aptos, size 40, with the color set to white. Just paste in your content and make sure everything is properly aligned. You can also add an icon or any other design element you like. Here I'm using one from PowerPoint's icon library. I'm just going to change its color to white so that it stands out better against the background. Now fill in the rest of your content and take your time formatting and aligning everything until you're happy. Once you're happy with the layout, select each rectangle and its contents, then press Ctrl G to group them. Repeat this for each section. Now select all three shapes, go to the Animations tab, and choose either Fly In or Float In. I'm using Float In for this one. Then open the Animation pane and set each animation to start on click or adjust the sequence and timing based on your preference. And you're done. This slide design is pretty much guaranteed to keep your audience's focus. And the best part is, you can paste the appearance of each point you're explaining with ease. Okay, so for this one, we're going to start by inserting a rectangle. What we're going to do is change its color. I'm picking this green shade here. Now just press Ctrl D to duplicate it and place the second rectangle right under the first. Then change its color. I'm choosing orange. Duplicate it once more and pick a third color. Now just add a fourth rectangle and change its color. I'm picking black. Okay, now I'm going to select all of them and remove their outlines. Next, just make sure that they're all exactly under each other. I'm going to go to Arrange, Align, Distribute Vertically to make sure they're all evenly spaced. Now press Ctrl G while they're selected to group them. Then stretch them towards the bottom of the slide like this, so now you can see that they're all sized evenly. Now we'll go ahead and right-click to ungroup them. Okay, so once you're done with that, all you have to do is add your text. For this particular slide design, I'm using the impact font, size 88 for the numbers. Now copy in your pointers in the first three rectangles. I'm just going to duplicate this since it's just an example, so I'm not worried about the content. If you want to make sure everything is aligned, just use the arrange feature like I'm doing here. 
Okay, now the last rectangle is for your heading text. I'm just going to type it in. And of course, you can add any design element you want. I'm adding a key icon from PowerPoint's icon library in this case. Now I'm going to hold shift and select both the icon and the heading and just hit control G to group them together. This will make them easier to work with when we apply the morph transition. Now select the first three rectangles in their content, right click and select send to back. Then select the black rectangle and drag it up, having it cover the whole slide. Now just drag your heading to the top of the slide it helps to hold shift as you do this. Next, duplicate the slide, drag the heading down by the width of one rectangle, and then pull down the black shape to reveal the green rectangle behind. Now duplicate the slide again and repeat the process, this time revealing the next rectangle. Do the same for the third slide, revealing all three rectangles. Finally, simply select all four slides, go to Transitions and select Morph. If you want the effect to play faster, go to the Duration setting and set it to one second. And that's it, you're done. This is one of the easiest slides to make with Morph, and you can use it in a bunch of cool ways. We're going to start by inserting a rectangle for the top half of the slide, like this. We're going to remove its outline and then change its color. Then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate it and have the second rectangle right beneath, taking up the lower half of the slide. Then we're going to go ahead and change its color. I've linked all the colors I'm using in the description, but you can use your own. Next, we're going to insert a circle. Hold shift as you drag and size it to the width of the rectangle. Position it to the left of the slide, like this. Then just remove its outline and change its color. I'm using a yellowish lime so that it contrasts. Now hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and position the second circle at the bottom right, like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is insert an arrow icon. You can use one from PowerPoint's icon library. There are many to choose from, but I prefer the variety that's available on Flaticon. Here are a bunch I can choose from. I'm going to be using this one here. So just copy it and then paste it onto your slide. Then reduce its size, hold shift and rotate it like that. Just position it like this. I'm just going to size it down a little more. Position it right at the center of the circle, like that. Now duplicate the arrow for the second circle. I'm just going to change the color of the second circle before moving on. Next, I'm going to change the color of the arrow by quickly navigating to format picture and then maxing out the brightness to make it white. Now hold shift and rotate it to the left, then position it at the center like this. There we go. Now what you want to do is hold shift, select the circle and the arrow, and then hit control G to group them. Now they're grouped. Do the same thing for the next circle and arrow. Okay, now all you have to do is add in your text. So I'm pasting mine in here. I've used the font Aptos, size 60 in white for the number, and for the body text, size 24. Of course, this will depend on your unique content. So I'm just going to paste in the second bullet content here. Okay, so we have our two pointers like this. Now for pointer three and four, here's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate the slide. We're going to hold shift and drag the content to the right. Like this. Likewise, we're going to select the second bullet content hold shift, and then drag it to the left, positioning it outside of the slide, like this. Then we're going to select the circle, 
drag it all the way to the right, like this. Then rotate it by holding shift so that the arrow faces the left. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the bottom circle. Just hold shift and rotate it like this. There we go. Now we're just gonna paste in our content for pointer three and four. Okay, now what we're going to do, the last step is select the content for the third bullet, copy it, go to the previous slide and paste it. Then while holding shift, we're gonna drag it to the left of the slide, positioning it outside the slide. Then we're going to go to the next slide, copy pointer four, go back to the previous slide, paste it, then position it to the right like this. Now simply select both slides, go to transition and select morph. There we go. What I love about this slide design is that you can use it in so many different ways, like the other two tricks. And you can experiment with the shapes, the icons and font styles, and even match the colors to your theme or brand guide. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. For more awesome and unique PowerPoint slide design ideas, be sure to check out my channel.